Once you're in the field with your MSP PH, there are a few items you want to check over before starting mapping. First thing we want to check is we want to make sure that the sampler shoe itself is set at the second from the top hole. This is a good default setting and allows for adjustments either way. Next we want to get the implement depth set. Now this is done either with the hydraulic system or the ratchet that comes with your MSP PH. What we want to do is have the EC penetration adequate enough to allow uh, proper EC data throughout the entirety of the field. Next we want to set the top link. Now this top link we want to set so we have the, the implement itself at a level stance and this allows for a good balance between EC data and the pH. Now while you're up here, also adjust the furrower. Now the furrower we want to set so that it just moves the residue away from the path that the pH is going to collect the sample but not disrupt the soil too much. Lastly, we want to come back here and adjust the closer. Now on the closer, we just want to gather the debris that we just created and kind of close the furrow and, and leave the field relatively intact. Once you've checked all the items that we just discussed, you want to run a quick test pass to ensure that the soil is, is getting a good core in the shoe itself and also that the opener and closer are working properly. Now what you can do when you're cycling, you can disengage the hydraulics when it's recording, so it would be in the up position, and you can see the following. Here we have a good soil core, and we also have good contact with the electrodes to the soil core. This is what you want to see on any pass that you make. 